For three and a half weeks they toiled in the sun, surveying, measuring and plotting these monstrous alignments and the other extraordinary monuments of Karnak. Then Tom came home to work on his bulging notebooks. When I went to see him in his den at Dunlop after several weeks of processing and analysing the data, the preliminary results more than lived up to everything he'd hoped to find. Well, probably the biggest job we did was in the alignment that runs through here. At Lemenic. Lemenic. Mm -hmm. Lemenic. The first accurate survey of Karnak ever made was now on paper. Only one of the lines appeared to be straight. It's now being checked for astronomical alignments and the use of the megalithic yard. And at the end, this strange enclosure of standing stones, half submerged amongst the farm buildings, is now surveyed. Only half a dozen of the stones had not been moved out of place by medieval farmers. But these original stones fitted precisely the familiar egg shapes found in Britain and the design was based on the equally familiar Pythagorean triangle with integral sides. And this is exactly as you would have found in, in Britain? Exactly, so I found many of them. I found a dozen like this in Britain, based on different triangles, sometimes on the 3, 4, 5 triangle, sometimes on the 5, 12, 13. Mm -hmm. But here it's based on the 11, 18, 21. Professor Tom had also been busy nearby at Crookino, surveying an extremely unusual arrangement of stones there, apparently a square. He was inclined to ignore it at first as an aberration, but survey it he did, and found that there was more to it than met the eye, a perfect rectangle precisely aligned to the north. A diagonal divides it into two Pythagorean triangles, the classic 345 triangle measured in British megalithic yards multiplied by that mystic factor of ten, and the diagonal aligns precisely on the midsummer sunrise. Only in this latitude, the latitude of Krakuno, would the midsummer sun rise on that bearing. In fact, if you work it out, it's within a few miles of where it should be. By the time you cut up as far as Scotland, this thing becomes a square. There's one